This was my mom's backgammon. She gave it to me. But now my mom doesn't have her own backgammon and that needed to be fixed. Hi, I'm Sepu and I'm going to learn to work with wood. Or so. The plan was to make a box out of wood and then cut the triangles for the board out of wood, fill them with epoxy. And at the end I wanted to have a mostly wooden backgammon board. Okay, let's start with the wooden part and my inability to use that ruler. D did I mention I never worked with wood and precise stuff? Well, I'm very sorry to everyone who has more clue about woodworking than I do. You probably should not watch this video or if you do, prepare to have some how can this beginner do this moments. Have I ever had a saw in my hand? Yes. Is it a very long time ago? Also yes. Did I regret this project already on that stage? Oh yes. And little did I know what's still to come. I only had two clamps to glue everything, so it took a while. I really thought it would be easy peasy to make this box. Oh boy, was I wrong. After a very complex math question, I now know the size of the dice holding thing this backgammon is desperately in need of. So I used my perfect sawing skills again. They are as perfect as my math is. Just saying. Cut exactly 9 or 8 or maybe 10 centimeters of this wood and thought about how I will get the holes for the dice into it. Using the rotary tool wasn't the best idea. And let's not talk about the trial with the box cutter, which is why I got those wood carving things. Needless to say, I never worked with those as well. I was really afraid of the sharpness and my clumsiness. That's why I wore gloves, which aren't really not to cut myself gloves. Okay, so th the first one was okay, ignoring the constant fear of cutting my fingers.
the second one I messed up so much till finally it was unusable anymore and I made two completely new dicey holy things without you guys watching. During all the time I was thinking about how I can hide that the wood isn't cut perfectly and so I thought I will order some artificial leather and glue it on the box. Uh, luckily I made a test beforehand. I thought I can glue with universal glue but as you can see it made the leather look weird. Don't know. The other one is some specific jewelry glue the friend of a friend of mine suggested. On the back I used leather with wooden glue. At the end I used a mixture out of wooden glue and jewelry glue. Wooden glue and jewelry glue. Wherever leather needed to glue on leather I used the jewelry glue, leather onto wood I used wooden glue and it is strong enough, at least I hope so. I'm not one of the patient version of humans, so gluing the sides wasn't something I loved doing. Especially because I only had two clamps, as I already mentioned, and I only could glue one corner or one side every few hours. At the end the corners still look wild, but better than only the wooden stuff. I did everything twice of course. The backgammon needed two sides. Two boxes, obviously. was very satisfying cutting the leather and seeing the result. By the way, the plan was being done beginning of December. Guess when I even started that project. Not beginning of December, of course. Would never do that.
assembly time. Maybe I hammered those joints in, in the middle of the night and I don't know how much my neighbors heard that. But it looks cool and no one said anything. Maybe they didn't even hear something. And of course it's perfect as a YouTuber to do the work outside of the camera. Perfect. I couldn't decide what colors I use, so I sent my mom pictures of colors. She said, oh that and that could look cool. I ordered some colors and some more colors. Just to decide, I used the one dark purple and the bright purple. While the test resin was curing, I made some silicon molds for the triangles and for the tokens. You already know the drill, that's why I didn't show it to you. I made the triangles and the tokens in Blender, printed them thrice to be precise because I was stupid, and put them into silicone. Oh. I mentioned I'm clumsy, right? I am very happy I bought 10 liters of isopropyl alcohol that made it easy to clean the resin mess. Always wear gloves while handling resin. Trust me. After cleaning, I finally was able to pour the triangles, which took forever, but eventually we got somewhere. little happy clap and we can work on the board again. I was afraid that the wood isn't sealed enough and resin would leak out so I sealed all corners with UV resin and the triangles were glued with the UV resin into the board. And since I wasn't able to cut out triangles out of the wood, I decided to make the board out of white shimmery resin.
it was by the way like three days before the board needed to be done time managing wasn't on point this time and two days before it has to be done i put a layer of clear resin over it while this was curing i sanded some tokens down not stressed at all of course because it was christmas painted a dice and finally called it done So please have a look at the final result, which is pretty cool. If you like projects like that, subscribe to this channel so we can see us again in the next project. Bye!